<laughs> hello, hello, how are you? I am back again and today I thought I would do a video all about my three favourite tuberose perfumes. Now, before I start, I want to mention not everybody likes tuberose. Uh, I feel like it's quite a decisive marmite kind of fragrance note. I personally love it. I'm a huge fan of roses and the tuberose for me is just kind of like a more, I don't know, unique, loud, flamboyant, exciting, kind of distinctive kind of rose. It is heavier and it is more potent and it is it is more unusual and I do feel like a lot of people don't like tuberose or if they do like it they like it blended with a lot of different things and so I think as a result there aren't actually that many tuberose based fragrances out there just because it's just not that much of a popular accord. However, however, I love a bit of tuberose, I hope that other people like a bit of tuberose and I thought it might be fun to do an edit of my three favourite tuberose fragrances because I'm sure I can't be the only person in the world who likes to wear a lot of tuberose. So yeah, I thought I'd discuss them. Obviously, these are fragrances which have a lot of tuberose in. There's a lot of fragrances which have tuberose in, but these ones are very much based around tuberose. So they are tuberose heavy. Um, yeah, so the first one I want to talk about <laughs> is Atelier Cologne Cafe Tuberosa. Now, if you watch my channel regularly, you might know that I discuss this perfume literally about a week ago. Like, it was not long ago. I love, love, love Atelier Cologne. I love their fragrances. I think they do an incredible job. And yeah, I just love that kind of that freshness, the naturalness of them, the simplicity of them. And I did talk about this fragrance which I love. It's not one that I would wear every day. It's quite smoky and it's quite saffrony and it's quite coffee based. It is themed around a cafe and tuberose and it's really special. I'm gonna get the notes up. Here we go, I've got the notes. Um, so it's got top notes of bergamot, tangerine and cardamom, tuberose, cacao and a damas rose and it's also got coffee, patchouli and vanilla. So it is, yeah, it's kind of like tuberose but it's kind of got a lot of coffee notes. It's quite like a smoky French coffee shop vibe. So it's got a little vanilla, it's got a little spice but it's got a lot of tuberose. But I would say it's almost more coffee than tuberose. Saying that, there is a lot of tuberose in there, I cannot deny and it's a really great fragrance. So if you're looking for kind of like a sexy coffee shop kind of tuberose fragrance, this is really, really, really lovely. Um, I have the 30 ml bottle, which I would possibly say is enough. I don't think you need the 100 ml bottle because it's not a fragrance I would wear every day. Even though I love it, it's something that I just don't wear every day because I need to be in the mood for it and I'm not in the mood for this one every day. We're on lockdown, why is he driving like that? Anyway, <laughs> um, so yes, I do love wearing this. I wouldn't wear it every day. I wouldn't recommend getting the 100 ml bottle because I think 30 ml is all you need. Also, it is quite a strong fragrance, so you don't need to like layer on too much. You can get away with just a little squeeze on here and there. So that's my first one. I think it's lovely. Atelier Cologne, Cafe Tuberosa, well worth a good sniff. If you like kind of like a, a smoky coffee shop, kind of tuberose vibe. It's really fun and kind of makes you feel like you're in Paris. You know what I'm saying? It's good. So the next one I want to show you is by Miller Harris. This is, I want to call it Nox de Tuberose, but I think it's more like Nui de Tuberose or something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show it to you. And it's N-O-I-X. I have no idea how that's meant to be pronounced, but I have to say, I love this fragrance. I've been wearing it for years and it is, it's just really special. It's quite rich, it's quite strong. Definitely not for every day. It is quite like, I need to be in the mood for it, but when I'm in the mood for it, it feels so good. I have literally had this bottle for years and I'm still working on it. It's still got loads left and it just, I love it. It is wonderful. It's very rich, it's very intense. It's very potent and fabulous and it's got a wonderful kind of 
powdery -ness to it as well, which is kind of quite vintagey and elegant. It's got notes of green mandarin, clover, violet leaves, tuberose, jasmine, mimosa, tonka bean, vanilla bourbon, and amber. So it's quite rich, it's quite deep, it's quite intense and florally and there's quite a lot going on. It's definitely all about the tuberose, but it's a very deep, dark, heavy, rich, quite a classic tuberose. It's got a real vintage vibe to it. It's lovely. I really, I really love this one. This, I think it's magical. My only criticism about it is that I really, really, really have to be in the mood for it, uh, which isn't a bad thing because, you know, <laughs> like it's lasting a long time. But I really have to be in the mood for it, like for me to really want to wear it. But yeah, when I do wear it, it's so fabulous. It's so beautiful. So yeah, rich, floral, powdery, tuberosey, just really special. And finally, my third favorite tuberose fragrance has to be by Sana Jardin. They are a French fragrance brand who are very modern luxurious and also very sustainable. They do so much work for sustainability and also helping the women who harvest their essential oils that they use, the flowers, in the flowers. They do a lot of work with those women. They help give them business advice. They help them upcycle the, the waste from harvesting the flowers. They help them make them into candles, which they can sell and keep up profits. So they do some really lovely things but on top of that i have to say it's just a really good perfume this one i'm gonna spritz some is a tuberose and i'm gonna read you the notes it includes notes of lemon clove leaf tuberose jasmine narcissus and then some other notes which i don't even know how to pronounce i will put them below and it's just do you know what i just love wearing it it's it's very tuberosey it feels quite classic but there is also a freshness of it because it's got the lemon in, it's got a little bit of spice in there, it's got a real warm, sunshine, hot earth kind of vibe. But also the thing I love about this one is it feels very classic, but it also feels very modern. But the tuberose, it's not quite as heavy and potent as other tuberoses. It's a little bit translucent, it's got a little bit of airiness in it. It's just a little bit softer. Do you know what I mean? So you can actually wear it every day. Like this is the first tuberose fragrance I have ever found which I can actually wear every day and it doesn't feel too much. It doesn't feel too intense. I don't have to be in the mood for it. I can just be in the mood to wear fragrance. And it smells really good. It smells very classic. It smells very, very plucked from nature. It's obviously incredible quality and you can really smell that quality. But at the same time, the tuberose is intense and it packs a punch, but it's not too much. Like it doesn't overwhelm me, <laughs> which sometimes I have to be honest, tuberose can be quite overwhelming. So I love this one because I can actually wear it every day and that feels really good. Um, I have the 50 ml bottle, which I think is around 90 pounds. I think it's well worth it. Smells really good. I just, oh, I just love it. Also, it's worth mentioning that the Miller Harris one is half price at the moment. If you did want to buy that one, good time to buy it all. And that is kind of it. That's kind of my video. I think I've covered it all. Um, like I said, Tuba Rose, it's not for everybody. In fact, it's not even for me every day. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I love wearing it, but not every day. Although I have to say I can wear this every day and I have worn this pretty much every day this week because it just, it just works for every day. The rest of them, not so much. I have to be the move them, but I do think these three tuberose fragrances are absolutely beautiful. So like I said, we've got the Sana Jardin Japur Chant. We've got the Atelier Cologne Cafe Tuberosa, which is a little bit more of a coffee tuberose. And then we have Miller Harris's Not Nui, Not de Tuberose, which is really rich, really powdery, quite a vintage tuberose, very intense though. So you, I wouldn't recommend this one to be worn every day. In fact, I wouldn't recommend the Atelier Cologne to be worn every day either. I would only recommend you wear the Sana Chardin every day. This one is appropriate for every day. But if you do want to wear this one or you want to wear it at night, you will feel, you will feel really fabulous. You will feel so fabulous. Um, 
but it's not necessarily for every day. And then this one is just, I don't know, just really special and kind of French coffee shops. And who doesn't want to be reminded of travel right now? Because it may be a while until we all board a plane once again. Anyway, that's my video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I will see you again soon. If you have any questions, please do let me know. If you want to chat, let me know. If you are bored and lonely and you are fed up of lockdown and you just want to speak to a friend, DM me on Instagram. I am always around and I'm ready to chat. Anyway, that's my video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I will see you again soon. Goodbye. <laughs>